it's Madeline and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, how are you? I have always wanted to do a one brand tutorial, like a full face of one brand. And someone reached out and made that possible. Today's video is sponsored by Wet n Wild. No, no, I'm serious, it's Wet n Wild. I can't believe that's a sentence coming out of my mouth. Wet n Wild has always been one of my favorite brands and I cannot believe I actually am getting to work with them. Like. Wet n Wild was one of the first brands I ever fell in love with. I used to use their quads in high school and their mascaras and their liners. I've used so many products of Wet n Wild's on my channel already that it's just, I basically had everything to do it at this point. And I was like, all right, let's do it. So like I just said, I used to use a ton of their products in high school, but now they have absolutely everything you can ever need to do a full face of makeup. So I'm so glad that I get to sit down and do this video for you guys. This is the look, it turned out so just a few things, if you didn't happen to know, Wet n Wild never tests on animals, so completely cruelty free, vegan. One thing I've always been shocked about Wet n Wild is how affordable their products are for how great the quality is. I've found that I've really been able to dupe a lot of high-end products with Wet n Wild products. Like this eyeshadow palette is an exact dupe for the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. The list goes on and on, and a lot of the products I use in today's video, I'll share some dupes that I've found because, I mean, there's there's a lot. Before we jump into the tutorial, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a code available that'll get you 25% off the Wet n Wild website. I don't think I get any kind of commission off of this code, so I mean, use it however you want. I think I might even total up how much all of my products cost for today's video so that you can get this look and see what they are at a discounted price, because I think that would be just like... I'd like to know. I feel like it would be pretty reasonable considering a lot of their products are under $5. So the code will also be linked in the description box for you to see as well as on the screen. I'm sure I put it somewhere around here. All right, so let's jump on into the tutorial brought to you by Wet n Wild. So I've already moisturized my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with a primer spray. So this is their three-in-one priming water. I use this throughout multiple steps of my routine. I use it as a primer a setting spray. When I'm feeling crunchy throughout the day, I just do a little ch -ch -ch. So they make this one in a couple different scents. I really like the cucumber. Big fan of the coconut one. That one's great too. I think they have rose. Pretty sure. I really love the coconut one and I'm loving the cucumber one too because it feels really cooling and refreshing. So I'm totally on board with that. Did you guys ever fall in love with the original Photo Focus Foundation? This one? Did you fall in love with it like I did? I think it's time you meet her even better smoking hot sibling in the stick form. Guys, this stuff is good. I've never found a drugstore stick foundation that I could really get on board with, to be honest. It always kind of felt heavy and greasy, but there's something about this one. It's so light and I was so excited that the color matches as good as it does. I look crazy right now. My mom's been looking for a new drugstore foundation and the second I put this on, I FaceTimed her and I was like, dude, go buy this. I put it on half my face to show her and it's so good. Oh, I forgot to wet my sponge before I sat down. So I have this one in the shade Soft Beige and it's such a good color for me right now. I'm in that weird, I had a tan like a month ago and now it's starting to fade situation. And I would consider this like a nice medium to full coverage, buildable for sure. I've been using this for a little while now and it's kind of made its way onto my desk, which is kind of a sacred place to be. It's for sure replaced the original Photo Focus Foundation. I don't know, this one's just like, I don't know, maybe because it's like faster. It has no fragrance. If you ever smelled this one, this one kind of has like a, I mean, I don't want to say painty, but it's definitely fragranced. And then I'll just apply some more wherever I feel like I want some more coverage. All right, so next we're gonna move on to concealer, and this is their Photo Focus Concealer. They have it in like 14 different shades which is pretty good for the drugstore. I have played with this concealer a lot in the past. My one thing with it is I feel like the brush doesn't ever pick up enough product because you know, I love to do the whole lot of unnecessary concealing. <laughs> That's like my only thing. I just wish the brush was just a little bigger because I feel like I just have to you know, do that a little too much because I love to pack it on. All right, now that we're all blended out, we're gonna go into powder. I'm gonna be dead honest. I have not tried their loose powder yet. I saw this at Walmart yesterday and was like, I need to try that. Cause I was originally just gonna use my Dulce de Leche, but this is a great dupe for the Kat Von D banana powder that I no longer use. So I keep this very close. But today we're gonna try the powder. 
freaking nailed it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I got this one in the translucent, translucent shade. Sick. Fragrance free, no fragrance. It's like I've been using Cody Airspun for so long, it's a miracle when a powder has no smell. For brows, I'm gonna go in with their retractable brow pencil. This is shaped identically, identical? This is shaped exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, the brow definer. This is a fantastic drugstore dupe for the ABH brow definer. The pigment is there, precision. So it has a spoolie on one side. I'm gonna just use that to comb up my brows. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Oh, that lighting is not gonna work. That's better. That was a little long. Please, I don't wanna be orange anymore. All right, I'm gonna try and come in a little bit closer because every time I zoom in, I turn orange. So first I take the side with the point and I draw a line underneath my brows. I love how it makes it look like I have so many hairs. So I have a ton of Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. If you've never tried a Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette, you're missing out on something amazing. Wet n Wild has some of the most pigmented eyeshadows at the drugstore, and I think they're like $3.99 or $4.99. There's something so affordable that it's crazy. So today we're gonna be going into the Stop Playing It Safe palette. It might help if I open it. Look at those colors, oh my gosh. I don't know which ones I wanna use. So I'm gonna start with this top shade right here. I'm just gonna put that as a transition shade, which it even says transition. I'm just gonna use a light hand at first. Such a good warm tone. And I'm just blending this with a fluffy brush, just getting it nice and blended. Should I do a halo eye? Is that crazy? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I have a vision, stick with me. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I'm just gonna blend this edge out a little bit. The pigment is crazy. And then just blend out any edges. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna take my finger and go into this shade right here. Oh my god, that is so pretty. All right, so that's what it looks like with just the shadow. I didn't even wet the brush or anything. All right, I think I'm gonna jump back down to face now. I can't get over those eyes. All right, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into this shade that we put all around the halo. I think I wanna smoke this out pretty hard. Just do a little pop on the inner corner. I'm gonna throw a little bit on my brow bone too. Again, this is all with dry shadows. They're not wet in the slightest. Okay, so another thing we're going to try today is the metallic liner. I have only ever used the blue and the black liner, never the metallic. So I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to look with my look. I don't know if I want to go full wing. I think I might just do it along the lash line, see how that looks. The brush is so tiny. I think it's even smaller than the black liner. So tiny. I think that adds just like a nice little metallic sheen. I was really surprised that it's not as glittery. Like I thought it was gonna be glittery. All right, so for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Megalink. I haven't tried this in the new packaging. I think it's still the same formula though, but it has been a while since I've tried this. I just picked up this yesterday. They have a couple different kinds of mascara and they all sound so good. So I was with my sister and I was like, which one do you think I should get? And she was like, Always go for the length. And I was like, okay, thanks, sister. Well, that is working pretty nice. I am gonna throw on some lashes though, and I don't know if Wet n Wild has any. If they do, I'll put it up on the screen. But I'm just gonna throw on just a random pair of lashes. The brush is super bendy, like, I don't really think that's necessarily a pro or a con. I just thought it was worth mentioning. All right, I'm gonna throw on a pair of lashes and I'll be right back. 
So next we're gonna move on to my pride and joy. If you've ever seen any single video of mine, you know how much I love Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil. Like I've probably purchased this 20 times in my life and I didn't even get to finish this one yet, but I bought the new packaging and I'm so excited. This is my favorite yeah, this is my favorite drugstore bronzer. It looks good in the summer, it looks good in the winter. It's kind of just like my foolproof bronzer. One of the reasons I'm so excited to get to work with Wet n Wild because I'm in love with every product. Like if there were ever a brand where I'm like, yes, it's Wet n Wild. Mm, I just love that. It's like instant cheekbones. Hi, how are you? Love them. For blush, I've never actually used this shade. It's Blazing Berry. I love pearlescent pink, and there is a another one that I really love from them. Cannot remember the name of it. But because I know how Wet n Wild operates, I know that this is going to be super pigmented. Ooh, that's a nice glow to my cheeks. It does have some shimmery reflex in it. I wouldn't say they're glitter, but it's definitely got a sheen to it. it. Might have even been a little too much, but we can fix that. Guess who overdid it? I know we're going into fall, but I've really been liking the whole blush on the cheeks and nose thing. I think that's so cute, but we gotta fix this. If you have never tried a Wet n Wild highlighter, it's just another thing you're missing out on. I basically have 20 different shades of these. My favorite is in Blossom Glow. However, Wet n Wild, if you're listening, this is Reserve Your Cabana. She's very well loved, but I have happened to notice that it's been discontinued. Please, bring it back, please. This is a straight up dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Chef's kiss. This is what it looks like with a dry brush. This is in Blossom Glow, kind of like a pinky highlight. Watch this, watch this. Are you kidding? So I feel like that might have been a little bit more pink than I thought it would be. So I'm going to go into Precious Petals, which is a slightly darker tone. And I'm just going to lay that on top. All right, lastly for lips, I'm going to go in with the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. And this is in the shade Cedar Later. <laughs> this is the vibe. Oh my god, yeah. The Liquid Cat Suit is a high shine lipstick. It's kind of like a glossy velvet formula. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Leave a like and a comment and go ahead and share this video so one of your friends can leave a like and a comment. I'll see you guys next time and thank you, Wet n Wild.